guitar players and today I'm going to play you a great old gospel hymn or song uh, Will a Circle Be Unbroken uh, by the Carter family and only four cards that I'm sure you know these four cards if you've been here at all on my YouTube channel they're G, E minor, C and D and I play them a special way. It makes it a lot easier. If you're new to the guitar and uh, you haven't been struggling with cards, this is a whole lot easier way to play it. Uh, remember to keep the bottom two fingers, the ring finger and little finger, locked in on the first and second strings. Right here. On the third fret. Right next to the third fret. And then you put first finger on the fifth string, second fret. Your second finger on the sixth string, third fret. And remember, these two bottom fingers stay locked in on all four cards. They, they never come off the F strings. So let's start with G. And then the E minor, remember all you do is put your first finger on the fourth and second string, fourth and fifth strings on the second fret, fourth and fifth string, second fret. Again, these stay locked in at the bottom. Uh, if you can't press both of those together, use your first finger on the fifth string and your second finger on the fourth string on the second fret and then remember D if you all you have to do is put your first finger on the third string second fret these two bottoms still there locked in okay and then C remember if you come in from G this is a big big plus in playing the cards this way coming from G to go to C you just move your first to second finger down one string a piece to the fourth and fifth strings that's C such an easy transition compared to the G to C traditionally. Okay. Now what we're going to do, I'm going I'm to go over this just using down strokes to, to start with. I'm going to call the cards out to you. And uh, we'll start, again, start with the G. And just use down strokes to begin with, okay? throughout the entire song. It just continues just like that. And of course the chorus is the same thing. Start with G and use a downstroke. Let's go with the G. strum together. You strum along with me here. Uh, if you're having trouble with strumming, and most every beginner guitar players you do to the guitar, always has trouble with strumming. One of the hardest things to learn how to do. But what I always preach and tell people, think of strumming as timing. Timing. You listen to the song, listen to the timing. One, two, three, four, whatever, whatever uh, number of beats in each measure. And think of that as timing, not so much strumming, you know, the down, down, up, down, up, down, etc. That will totally confuse you. So think of it as timing is going to help you a whole lot. And even though you're struggling with uh, strumming, just work at it. And, and don't over-practice. Ten minutes a day. That's all you need. Ten minutes a day. And one other thing, uh, with these four chords, you can be able to play hundreds of songs. Hundreds of songs. So just concentrate on these four chords. Play them. Get to where you can play them clear. Switch from one to the other, make them sound good. 
that'll give you a great start playing hundreds and hundreds of songs. All right, let's put a little rhythm to it. Strum along with me the best you can here. Start with a G again, of course. singer folks so don't don't uh, critique me on my singing I'm a guitar teacher so but I do recommend singing along when you're playing songs uh, I, I enjoy singing I enjoy singing along as I play the guitar so I encourage that uh, just just sing along start with a G okay with a smoothly and making them sound clear there's a lot of little additions uh, you can add embellishing the car to make them even sound better make the song sound better um, and you can speed it up also if you wanted to slow it down speed it up whatever make it your own make it your own uh, way to play the song I'll play it a little bit faster for you song and, and again uh, if you're new to guitar or you tried before in the past and, and stopped for, and, uh, for one reason or another four chords the same four chords I'm showing you play this way not the set standard G or the standard C or the D or the E minor you see that's way too much movement this will get you playing quick easy and fast and playing songs fast just in a matter of a few days you'll start being able to play this song really well and then you start picking up on lots of other songs. I've got uh, quite a few songs here on my YouTube channel uh, with just these four cards. 
But like I said, there's hundreds, even thousands of songs using just four chords. You don't need to know hundreds of chords. You don't need to know scales, modes, uh, anything like that. There's a place for that. If you want to be a lead guitar player, uh, that's fine. But and to be able to play songs, your chord is, is your, your basis for le learning to play songs. You can play scales all day long, but you have to have that that balance. You have to have that that rhythm part to really, really make songs work for you. So again, learn your chords, 10, 15 minutes a day. Be sure you figure out the cut on the chordy hand so you can press the string straight down, okay? And uh, also, if you enjoyed this video, uh, leave your comments below. I always enjoy hearing from everyone. Uh, my goal is to teach anyone and everyone who has any interest in the guitar to learn how to play the guitar. Uh, it is not hard if you follow my, my way of teaching with these four chords, playing them the special way. Like I say, you'll be playing really, really fast instead of learning the traditional way. And of course, I've got my 38 best beginner guitar lessons here on, on YouTube also. Uh, there's a link down in, in the description. If you click on that, it's going to bring you to the home page where you just put your email in and then you'll be brought to all 38 video lessons. Uh, but that's a much longer process. That's the traditional way. And there's nothing wrong with learning that way. But if you really want, if time's a, a, a problem for you and you just really want to kickstart things and get, get to playing songs and cards fast on the guitar, enjoying the guitar, uh, this is the way to play it. These two locked in at the bottom. And then the G, the C, the K, the D, and the E minor. Now, if you, if you uh, forget how to make these cards, I have a, uh, you do a search here on YouTube channel, like Magic Four Cards or Four Cards. I've got multiple videos showing you how to make the cards. So if you forget how to make them, just do a search. You'll find them here on my channel. I've also got... Uh, videos on tuning and holding the guitar kind of pick you just all all kind of things that will help you get started quick and easy and fast but these four cards that's the secret to it friends i've been doing this 40 years been very successful at it um i've taught thousands and thousands of students and let's add you to that list i'd love to add you to that list and again like share be sure to leave your comments uh, if you want to, if you enjoyed the lesson, if it's helped you in any way, uh, let me know if you, you've been able to play these cards uh, smooth, even, and making them sound clear. And uh, if you need help with anything, leave those those questions in the comments below too. Always glad to help. Till next time, let's go learn and play some guitar. Blue, blue, blue.